Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to the channel and to a new series. I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, it's been a hot minute since I played a Zelda game, hasn't it? First game on the channel, obviously, was Link's Awakening, and I thought, you know what would be kind of fun to do? Dig out the old Wii U, the classic fallen sequel to the Wii, and uh, play one of my favorite Zelda games of all time, at least the 3D versions, and uh, start it off with a fresh coat of paint. Wind Waker HD from 2013, 10 years ago. Why not? And surprisingly, I'm going to be playing this one on the gamepad. Dug it out from wherever I found it. It was buried in a closet. Sorry, Wii U. And it was a little crusty, so <laughs> had to wipe that one down a little bit. Wipe it down and uh, get it going. I went ahead and cleared all of my game files because I want to start brand new for all of you with a new game. Use the game. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Um, you can't see this. This is the one downside to the gamepad is I actually have to look down while I'm doing this. And I'm going to just call myself Link this time around. I called myself D Mike last time, I think, when I did anything Zelda related. But you know, let's go with classic Link for this one. Ooh, this gamepad is sticky. <laughs> So we have normal mode, and also hero mode. Um, nope, not doing that. That sounds like a horrible idea, but you saw what it did. Uh, no recovery hearts and you take double damage. I am not good at this game, and I'm not gonna pretend that playing it on hard mode would be a good idea, so I'm not going to do that. But now, story. Welcome to the first area of the game. This is Outset Island. With some of the best music in any Zelda game. This is actually one of my favorite songs in any Zelda game, too. Oh, this game music gives me chills. If you don't like that, then you just don't like good things. So it appears that Link is being accosted by his little sister. This is Errol. He sat up on the watchtower, taking a snooze, as you do, in your lobster shirt. Why not? But it's time to wake up. There's our consummate hero, Link. This version that was initially critically panned, a lot of people were very upset seeing Link like this, but they eventually fell in love, and this game has become one of the most popular in the series, as it should, because it's wonderful. So this is where the kids go to look out at the sea. Do we remember what today is, viewers? What is today? Oh, come on. Think hard. Hmm. Is our... Oh. Jeez, happy birthday to us. Link's birthday happens to be on whatever day this is. The <laughs> this is going up. So there's Grandma's house. We live out on uh, Outside Island with our sister and Grandma. Just a tidy little trio. Grandma's been wanting to see us. Maybe she's got a birthday present for us. She better, or else she's dead to us. So yeah, maybe we should go see Grandma. Anyway, okay. So, here's Wind Waker HD. Um, this game came out in 2013. It is a remastering, an HD remastering of the original for the Wii U. The original was on the GameCube, of course. Lots of quality of life issues. HD graphics, of course. A little bit of uh, enhancements visually. The big thing that you'll notice in this game, especially when it comes to visuals, things are a lot crisper, but also there's a lot of bloom, and that's kind of like the lighting effect that you see that makes everything seem a little hazy. That's okay. But we're on Outside Island. We're gonna do a lot of exploring of this area eventually, but first we gotta go see Grandma. See what she's got in store for us. We'll check out all the different little subsections of this place in a little while, but first, we got presents to get. There's no better time than now. That's why it's called the present. Get out of our way. It's our birthday. 
You're ruining it. Okay, so let's go talk to Grandma. Make sure you stay in touch with your loved ones and treat them nice. Especially the older ones, you know? They deserve your love. Looks like we've got a nice little place to stay here. Grandma's maybe making some stew in this cute little home. Let's go ahead and climb this ladder. Grandma must be pretty sturdy in her old age. Climbing ladders to get up there. There she is. Hi, Grandma. What name do you have for your grandma? Any special names? Something unique that maybe only your family would say? Or maybe something culturally that's in your language? She's been waiting for us. And for our birthday, it's... Oh. Clothes? Ugh. But apparently she's been holding on to these for a while. As you can see, Link, very excited. We live on an island, though. It seems pretty tropical, and we're getting close for our birthday. Ugh. Just try them on. It's the day you become the same age as the young hero. Okay, so maybe that's a coincidence. I can't imagine anything would come of that. A hero in a Zelda video game? I don't think so. But it's just for one day, so I think that we can appease Grandma. So, however old Link is, it's the day that boys were considered men, taught the way of the sword and to battle enemies. Okay. But we don't battle enemies anymore. This is a world of peace. Apparently there's only one person left on the island who even knows sword play. Convenient. And here's the family shield, an heirloom, passed down from generation to generation. Oh, Link looks very miffed. Does that all make sense to you? Of course it does. But it's a perfect fit. Grandma was right. And tonight we're going to have a birthday party with the whole town. That sounds amazing. Do you like having birthday parties, viewers, with your friends and family? You should do that. Celebrate with your loved ones. We're going to have our favorite soup. Heck yeah. We're going to go get Errol. She woke us up after all. we got to show her how cool we look. Let's check out these uh, little photographs on the wall. There's Link and Grandma and Errol. Just hanging out, looking all cute. Oops, that's not how you do that. Still getting used to the controls. I have not used this Wii U gamepad probably in the better part of a decade. So I think I played this a little bit when the game came out. I believe that I uh, the save file that I had on here just won. When I deleted it, it said 2014. So it's been around for a hot minute. Been a long time since I played this classic. We're going to go back to the lighthouse, the watchtower, whatever you want to call that. It's probably not a lighthouse. There's no lights coming out of it. Pass this booger boy. Excuse me. Ugh. The sound he makes is great, though. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So Errol might have a present for us, too. She better or she's dead to us. Go ahead and climb on back up this rickety ladder. Clearly very safe. Ocean notwithstanding. All right. Seagulls. Plenty of those around where I live. They love french fries. Don't feed them. They'll die. Okay, here we go. Hi, Errol. What's going on, sis? Hoy, big brother. Uh, yeah. And? Well, yeah, we live on a tropical island. But they are pretty neat. Look at her cute little dress. Anyway, ooh, here we go, here we go, okay. Um, viewers, what do you think it's gonna be? Oh, please be Skittles, please be Skittles. Most treasured belonging. Okay, it's definitely Skittles. All right, oh. Yay, tele, telescope. All right, well, I guess this isn't so bad. We need to uh, put it on one of our item selection slots. She's gonna let us borrow the gift, so it's not even technically given to us, it's just a loner. Let's check it out. All right, so I have to, once again, using the gamepad, here we go. Putting it on Y. And let's go ahead and check out Grandma's house. Well, what's going on over here? That's weird, I don't remember that bird being there last time. 
Looks a little suspicious. Oh. Oh, it's a postman? What's going on? Looks like one of the Rito. Look up in the sky. What am I supposed to be looking at? Oh. Oh boy. That is the biggest government drone I've ever seen. And it's captured a civilian. Oh boy. This is trouble. And there's pirates? Oh boy. Looks like the pirate bay is trying to fight this Swedish government. Yeah, just keep launching rocks at it. What could possibly go wrong? You'll never hit it with something like that. Come on, give up. Oh, okay, just kidding. Well, you murdered it. It looks like the little lady in tow is absolutely dead now inside that forest. Fish food. We need something to defend ourselves with. Well, huh. I don't remember anything like that. I mean, we could use our big moosels. Well, why? Okay. <laughs> I was trying to turn myself around and bring it around town, but the gamepad had other ideas. Gonna have to get used to these controls. It's gonna, it's gonna be a bit of a doozy, and I might not use the gamepad the entire time. I'm gonna let you know, viewers, in advance. I do have a Wii U Pro controller, so if you could just like show some respect, that'd be, you know, pretty cool. Just saying. Get away from me. Booger brains, no time for you and your snot nose. It's tempting to go over there and get that money, but we'll make the rounds here in a little bit, don't worry. First, we gotta play some defense. And if we remember, Grandma might have something to help us. What do you think? We can't go out unprepared. It's dangerous to go alone. So we're gonna flip the script a little bit. Hi, Grandma. What happened? What happened, Grandma? Sure would be cool if, uh, you know, we could have this shield here. Can we have it? I don't remember what you have to do. What do you mean we shouldn't let her off? What are we supposed to do about it? I mean... Maybe we'll come back. I think I skipped ahead. <laughs> okay. All right, so I I got all, you know, I tried to be all cool about it, and I tried to use the quote from the first game, and then I realized that I actually was on the right track, but, uh, you know. We got a good, the best defense is a good offense. So we're gonna learn about that here in a moment by uh, Mastermind over here. ZL targeting is back in this game. Very handy, of course. So he said it's an indigenous way to do it. Did not make any sense. We're gonna climb up his ladder and drop by his room. Let's go hang out with his old man. That's not weird or anything. Just come and hang out in my room. He's got a hard time seeing things from a distance. My vision is also poop. I feel that. Old man, don't feel alone. All right, let's go and hang out with Father Time here. What could go wrong? Hanging out with the elderly? <laughs> okay, there he is. All right. So we need to gather some wisdom on what to do. He's a brain of all trades. He's the one to ask. It's a great idea. His filing system is out. He's got everything stuck to his walls. Oh. Well, there goes your pottery. Thankfully, nobody ever breaks pots in a Zelda game. He's very mad. Is there therapy on Outset Island? His much less intelligent brother, who is a lot cooler. He exercises with weapons instead of his brain. Huh. Fencing? And fencing uses swords. So I think that might be a little more useful than nerd knowledge. Maybe we should go give him a visit first. 
He can probably help us better than Brainiac over here. Let's see what he's got. So this is Orca's younger brother. This, my friends, is the one and only Sturgeon. Looks like a man of the sea. Would love some instruction in the way of the sword. Yes, absolutely. That's way more fun than book learning. This is probably the only time in the game that you're going to see me, like, effectively do the techniques. Oh boy, I am so bad about these. Alright, time to learn the horizontal slice. Thankfully, there's no motion controls in this game. At least as far as swordplay goes. Alright, so let's give him the horizontal slice. Bam, there it is. Keep coming at me. I did only... Excuse you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess the game does not want me to Z-target. Am I not? Hold on. Don't move, maybe? Okay, I think that that's what it wants. No movement, just B. I think that when you do move, of course, um, it does impact what you do. Keep swinging. Swing your thing. The more swings you do, the better you get, of course. The thrust. Ooh, all right. There's the thrust. Keep, thru Keep thrusting, viewers. Keep thrusting. That's what you got to do. Spin attack. All right. The classic Zelda spin attack. Hold the B button. And a boop. There you go. More. Keep spin a Rooney. There you go. You only need two of those. The parry attacks. A target with ZL until you see the parry icon. And then quickly press A for a defensive strike. Okay. There it is. You smack him right on the buns. We'll do this again. There it is. Sword right up the old behind. The jump attack. Draw your sword, target, and press A. Oh yeah, come at me once more, bro. Find display, well done by us, of course. Certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. If you're not anxious in this day and age, you are too privileged. All right. Well, maybe you need to get out a little bit more. How about that, sir? But he doubts we'll misuse the sword. It sounds like the ultimate birthday present. We've got a sword. We're gonna kill all the things. Very cool. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man that's entrusted to you. Of course, that's why we're gonna use it wisely. It's because we don't want to let down the old man. It's infused with a desire to become strong. Okay, very cool. Why not? Better your sensei. Okay, so uh, we've got a weapon. We've got an endorsement from a swordsman of the sea. Very cool. So I think now maybe is a great opportunity to play some defense. Okay, so I did these out of order on accident. Go me, surprise. Maybe now we can talk to grandma. Maybe now she'll stop being so stingy. Um, Grandma, we're an adult now. Okay, we can rent a car. Maybe I'm still not even supposed to do this. <laughs> I get very excited sometimes with what I think I'm supposed to do in the game, and then I don't pay attention. Okay, great. Okay, well, maybe we'll get a chance. <laughs> All right. I need to stop goofing around. We need to head back. What's this guy doing? I imagine that that little girl up the hill still needs some help. And who better for the job than our friend Link? No, get away from me. Haven't you learned anything from the past few years? Wash your hands. What's this? Oop, no. Hello? Okay, you can't see target signs apparently. The forest of fairies? 
Okay. That sounds like a fun place to go. Link's little sideburns. For a second, I thought he had his ears pierced. I almost just said, wait a second, Link doesn't have ears. Okay. No entry. The forest paths are closed. Well, you know what? I got thoughts about that. Screw you, sign. Screw you, trees. Don't need any of your nonsense. There's a damsel in distress, and we got a pointy stick now. Nothing is going to get in our way. Okay. What does this say? I'm going to read as much stuff as I can early because I'm going to forget to do it later. Fairy found sight ahead. Increase your fortune. Do you believe in gambling, viewers? Feeling lucky? Looks like there's a plank missing. But thankfully, the instant jump from Zelda is back. There is no real jumping in this game. I think she needs our help. Oh, there she is. What luck. Creatures of the forest are probably very excited to have their very own shish kebab for free. Ooh, look at this. It's the blue bacoblin, our first enemy of the game, besides grandma, who won't let us have a uh, the birthday present that we want. Get used to this uh, music. I'm, <laughs> I'm very poorly here. There we go. We murdered him. Ooh, that felt good, didn't it? Nothing sweeter than a little bit of murder. All right, I think there actually is something in this. I don't remember how you crouch. Is it this? Yes, all right. Let's go ahead and steal his lunch money. That's 20 rupees. In the original Wind Waker, the amount of money you could hold at the beginning of the game was 200 rupees. It's been increased to 500 in the HD remake, thankfully. So don't forget to... Fill up your coffers with dollar dollar bills. You'll need it later. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. Okay. Very cool. I'm sure this won't impact the story later at all. Okay, let's go up this trunk. I think we need to... Where am I going? Where is she? She's on a tree somewhere. All right, I got to figure... Oh, there she is. Okay. Just gonna make her way over here. Oh! Incoming. We've got friends. This is kind of a part. Oop. Oh, you just hit each other. You can really just kind of like, uh. I don't know. Hack and slash. A lot of enemies in this game, too, when they die, they'll turn into these weird little. Oh, I thought you were dead. Um. They'll turn to these little orbs that orb. You just have to hit it one more time. Oh. Oh, she's alive. But she's stuck. That's not good. Well. That works. Ouch. Check out our threads, lady. What do you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean, get up? Where are you? Um... In the forest of fairies, in the presence of the hero of time, duh. Giant bird, Tetra. You didn't say you had a boyfriend. That's rude. Okay, well, I guess we're third wheeling over here. Pirates, am I right? Eh, mountain is generous. Let's say large hill. She's kind of shaking a little bit. Maybe she's, <laughs> it's the adrenaline. What do you mean, boy? It's my birthday. Well, she's skidooing, apparently. Not a very respectful little greeting. Excuse me. Don't worry, the day is saved. Arrow has come to cheer us up, see us with our new friends. This is gonna be great, right? Okay, we can introduce her to Tetra and Weird Bandana Man. Uh-oh, 
Oh, that's not good. This one rock wasn't enough. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's going to be a problem. Hey, uh, guys, you want to do something to help? Yeah, that's not the smartest. Nothing we can... No. I guess not. If she would have given us a better birthday present, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Yikes. Well. That's trouble. I do? Okay, I guess I do? Alright. Hey, Link's got some agency. Hey. I'm pretty cool, so how about you back off? Wow, no empathy from these guys. What a bunch of rude jerks. Pirates the ruin through it. Whoa, who are you? Oh, you're a cool bird. I mean, he does have a point. They are bringing the government to the island. So it's kind of your fault. Oh, you hear many things. Do birds have ears? Oh, there's a bunch of young girls being captured on the Great Sea. That's not good. Young girls with long ears. Hmm, sounds like Hylians. That's true. Sister does kind of look like Miss Tetra here. Also a good point. All right, so, you know, maybe don't judge a bird by its ears that it shouldn't have. Oh, there's more pirates. Headed to the Forsaken Fortress. That sounds ominous. Yeah, what are we going to do? I think a little bit of help warranted at this point. But we gotta do something. Um, excuse you? I earned this sword by beating up an old man. We could use a shield. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to get one twice. Okay. Well, that sounds like a fair deal. If we get a shield, we'll come back and then go on a pirate adventure. But that is something that we will actually do, um, it's going to be next time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. We'll do a little bit more exploring of this island before we head out on an adventure next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. See you next time. Bye.